Hi there folks, my name is Novawing24 and welcome to my little tutorial video on how to get gold on the RV6A landing challenge as part of the Microsoft Flight Expansion Alaskan Wilderness. So obviously uh, you will need to own the DLC that includes the RV6A which is the Hawaiian Islands Adventure Pack. Uh, if you don't already own it, strongly suggest that you get it. Uh, great having the extra missions and the extra islands in that. As well as that, the RV-6 is just quite simply an absolute dream and delight to fly. Alright, so we're just loading up now. Alright, so when you get dropped in, you get dropped into this little valley here. Um, you get some experience of some beautiful scenery going through there. Now the winds are coming through at uh, 14 knots. Now at the moment you're going to have a tailwind, uh, but when, as you can see from the, the airstrip, when you land, you'll actually be landing with a 14 knot crosswind. Now with an aircraft as light as the RV-6, this can present uh, some interesting challenges as you'll see shortly. Now because the aircraft is so light and it is very very quick, uh, you will need a fairly decent amount of separation from the runway before you actually start your approach. I'm recommending about two and a half miles. Uh, before you start your turn in to approach. So we're starting our turn in now just over this little island here. Now you can see I've dropped the flaps down to full so this is to start slowing us down. I've kept the throttle open at the moment just while we're slowing down but you can see now I've dropped the throttle right back. Now the RV-6, as I just said, is a very light aircraft, which means it does have a tendency to bleed airspeed very, very slowly. Now one of the reasons for such a long approach is that you will need to bleed the airspeed off uh, to make sure that you're landing at a fairly slow rate, around 70, 80 knots, otherwise you'll be hitting too hard, and you'll lose your points from the soft landing component of the achievement. Alright, so we're approaching here, so we're keeping an eye on the Pappy lights as usual, so we are a part of the glide slope. Now you will notice that I am, it does seem like I'm actually aiming to the left of the runway. Now this is because of the crosswind that I mentioned earlier, because as you notice we are slowly drifting towards the runway there. Now you will notice here that I've actually started raising the flaps, while still keeping the throttle down. So the flaps, because of the crosswind, will cause you more problems than there are benefits with the crosswind, so once you've got your airspeed down you can raise the flaps. Alright, so we're coming down now for the final touchdown. Now this is where it does get quite challenging with a crosswind because the RV6 is so light you will get blown about a fair bit. Now if you're trying to get the centre of the runway, um, this can present us with a few problems. So you notice that I'm coming in pretty much crab crawling in. Alright, and touchdown, there we go. Alright, so we've got the soft landing, um, and we got good for the crosswind, but not so great for the centre line. But it's still enough to get us the gold achievement. Alright folks, this has been my little video on how to get the gold as part of the RV6 landing challenge in Microsoft Flight Alaska. My name's Overwing24. Look forward to seeing you in the sky soon.